Welcome in fam, if you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome, my name is Tam, I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We are not science specific here, we're also gender fluid. Um, I may be saying you and I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking about you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. If you'd like to book a personal more line with your own story, all of my information can be found below in the description box. My books are always open. All right, let's tap in and see what Spirit wants to talk about today. Normally, I throw out at least a couple of cards just to kind of tap the energy, but I decided to just start together. Okay, so let's get into it. you have or you've had someone it's funny because I'm looking at some of the cards from previous reads from the bottom of the deck I'm gonna put those away because I don't want those to influence my thoughts um, it looks like you may be moving away collective from a sense of um, conflict and drama if you've been dealing with some drama with someone else um, if you have been confused about the relationship or um, You know what, I'm, I'm also hearing too, maybe in the past you kind of had like a, I wanna say fantasy, fantasy is a strong word, but we'll just, for the sake of argument. You may have had a fantasy about maybe what you thought your life was supposed to look like, um, but I feel like you may have had someone in your energy or someone close to you, someone around you who may have tried to manipulate the situation or manipulate you or those around you to so i'm hearing smoke and mirror so on one hand you may have had someone here who was creating a sense of illusion in terms of who they are and who you are um so i also get the energy too that there could be people around you who you know, may have been close to the situation who were equally confused by this person because there is definitely some energy here of manipulation where somebody's kind of playing puppet master. Um, collective, I feel like those of you who resonate with me have begun to move away from that energy or at least it doesn't affect you in the way that it used to because you chose to just, you know what, this isn't it, I'm gonna move on. Um, I think those of you there are some people here who have chosen um, really to focus on themselves, to focus on their own healing. Um, some of you have been just throwing yourself into work. So there may be some things that you are um, creating actively that are keeping you really busy. You may be getting, <clears throat> excuse me, you may be getting some public attention for the work that you're doing or the work that you're doing on yourself. I do see the creation here. Um, there could be someone here working on two new situations or two new projects. Um, so it's kind of like moving away from this because it really doesn't serve me any purpose and you know, kind of focusing on thing, focusing on the thing that pays you, right? It's like I'm, I'm minding the business that pays me. That's, that's what this looks like. And you're doing it very well. So keep going. Um, see. <laughs> I have someone here. <clears throat> now, if I'm looking at you collective, I do feel because I said somebody here might be like starting something new. Um, you may have like two different endeavors that you're trying to create. Um, I'm getting a sense of rapid motion. So it could be happening quickly. Um, I heard quick rise to fame. Okay. Um, I feel like you're focusing, some of you might be focusing, 
like if you had a bunch of different options that you were looking at or considering, some of you may have chosen to focus on one. Um, I am getting entrepreneurial spirit though. So there's some type of creative endeavor. Um, I'm getting a lot of excitement around it. Mm -hmm. On the flip side of it, you could definitely be dealing with someone who is not very happy about you moving in a different direction. Um, there may be some delays and Mercury is in retrograde and Taurus, so there's also that, but I'm, I'm thinking to utilize the, the extra time to really cross the T's and dot the I's, okay? Um, but I have here, a, yeah, I don't feel like whatever you're moving away from, I collective, you're not putting any more effort or energy or time into it. Um, I like that the world is here because this signifies definitely the end of one cycle and the onset and beginning of the next cycle. This is successful completion, lessons learned. Um, I'm also seeing too, where if you have someone, because this energy has been coming up a lot, people wanting to spin the block, remember Mercury retrograde, don't be the ex that comes back, okay guys? Um, I do have someone here that may want to come in with some form of an apology or um, some show of affection. I feel like they're somebody's somebody's ready to come in. Um, they may have been, you know, kind of keeping their feelings to themselves, um, not revealing them. In fact, they may still be not revealing them. Hell, for you may not be revealing your feelings. I don't know. The cycle's already over, so it doesn't really matter. But if this is um, about the entrepreneurial pursuits, don't be, what's the word? Don't be discouraged by the delays, okay? Delay does not mean deny, I'm hearing, okay? So don't worry about it. There will be delays just because Mercury retrograde, you know, happens. <laughs> so again, there's this energy of wanting to move very quickly. That's funny. I was just listening to something about that like last week, like, and, and astrologically it's, it's on point. It's like, there's this energy of, of momentum and you really want to move quickly. Right. But with this Mercury and retrograde energy in Taurus, we're kind of being, I feel like we're being called to just really look at the practical steps that we're taking and make sure that all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, okay? Because your new beginning is here. Delay, not deny. Collective, I feel like you, this is, if you've moved on from something from your past, you moved on in a real hard kind of way. I think you, you literally turned your back on things that may have made you feel as though they held you hostage. And I have someone here who may be watching you move on and they're watching you detach and now they are feeling left out in the cold and rejected and they're heartbroken. It's interesting how all the cards connect. They're heartbroken. They're very unhappy, very, very unhappy. And they may be keeping it a secret, that unhappiness. They're keeping it very much to themselves. Um, you know, the crazy part about it is Somebody is watching you move on and they're watching you be successful at whatever it is that you're doing, like whatever, right? Um, I just heard something has just come full circle. 
something has just come full circle and it has a lot to do with whatever um, public attention you may be getting whatever success this whatever hurdles you've overcome from your past I mean you're doing it in in full color spectrum like everybody can see you and this person is not happy because even though they may have tried to hide the confusion that they were trying to cause for you, I feel like it's kind of backfired. And so now because you're so detached, they're just beside themselves. And this thing has come, it literally, I'm looking at all the cards around the world and this has come to an end. And so now this person is feeling, you know, alone. Um, you know, if at some point you had been like the light of their life, you know, the thing, the, the source of, I just heard the source of life. Like if you were the thing that lit up their life, like you removed your light. And so now without you, nothing grows, I hear. Yeah, and the crazy part about it is, <laughs> they're being judged for it and now somebody is losing everything. Everything. So you have somebody here that you may have been at maybe at one point you, you might have been very committed to the relationship or to them. You may have, you know, respected them. Um, but I feel like this person put in very little effort or energy into the connection. I'm also feeling though that as though there are people here who have chosen to invest their time committed to new situations. So you may have you may be choosing to no longer align yourself with something you once you know may have respected or were committed to and you've chosen to go in a different direction and and pour all of that energy into someone else and that creates a tower. You may have spent a lot of time. Wow. I feel like collective, you may have been spending a lot of time and effort and energy and been very dedicated to and dedicated to pouring in energy and effort and um investing and I and I want to say poorly investing poorly investing into someone who did nothing but lie to you and they're being judged for it they're being judged for it this person wanted to keep you weak and codependent and the tables have turned and now this person is in that energy. And they're trying to hold on to you. They're trying to hold on to you. And what's crazy about it is this person, it's kind of like, even if they tried to come to you and be like, okay, I don't want to beef anymore. I don't want to have any drama because it's clearly they're on the outside. Even if this person came to you, they're come. They're still coming to you under the wrong energy. The devil, four of pentacles. They're like, they're literally, they, they're just, I feel like right now this is desperation. Somebody desperately trying to hold on. I think it's just somebody desperately trying to hold on to you. <sighs> okay. What else? See, I don't like this. 
it's yeah okay wow so this person <laughs> wow so this person i said they were going to come in here with an offer right and when i say the cards are literally the same cards but they're I have the Knight of Cups out here twice, the King of Wands out here twice, the Magician out here twice. And when I see this Three of Coins, this Three of Coins, so this person is trying to manipulate the situation with them coming in because they're what they want, what they say they want is not really, that ain't really it. So they want to come to you, but here's the thing. This feels very insincere. And they may come to you like, let's build on this foundation. Let's work together, right? But really what the work that they're trying, the work is really piggybacking off of you. You are the one still doing all the doing. You're the one carrying the load. Your hand is on all three of these pentacles. And there's two other sets of hands on a quarter of one pentacle each. So it still wouldn't little glare here so bad. It still wouldn't be um, fair. There's no building in that. Um, and I just heard their magic doesn't work on you. So if you have somebody here, and you know that's also been a theme in the collective. And again, you know. When I say magic, somebody doing dark magic, it doesn't necessarily have to be like candles and, you know, incense and burning shit and putting jar, putting people in jars and stuff. It doesn't have to be that. It literally could just be somebody speaking bad shit over your life. I hope they do dot, dot, dot. You know what I mean? Like, I hope this doesn't work out for them. I hope their marriage fails. I hope their kids all, you know, whatever, whatever. That talk, that negative talk puts an air into the energy. That literally is evil eye projection, right? What I'm seeing here is that whatever they're doing is not working. It's not working. And whatever their approach is, they're going to come to you. Somebody is coming to you. This energy is, is fast. They're coming to you, but what they're doing is they're coming to you, and whatever their offer is, this offer is insincere. I really feel like the offer is meant to confuse you. It's meant to confuse you. But do understand, I've said this in other readings, whoever this person is, they're watching you. They're watching you and they're pissed off that you're moving on and that you're getting victory. But they're not taking any kind of responsibility for any of their past actions. So they may be feeling left out in the cold and they're all, you know, boohoo and upset. But they're still not taking responsibility for anything that they've done for making you walk away. Like you had you had no choice. You didn't want to deal with the drama and the confusion. So you moved on. You're like, you know what? Okay, go ahead. Keep that. <laughs> um, but they don't want to take any responsibility for the reasons why you even moved away from it in the first place. No accountability whatsoever. Yeah, look at you. They never saw it coming. And now they are mad. You know why they're mad? Here's the crazy part. Ooh, you look at you. Yeah, look, this is the same damn story from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. So, <laughs> again, I'm, I'm getting the entrepreneurial spirit here. I also see there's somebody here. So, well, I'm going to look at all the scenarios because I do see a couple here. You don't have to be a couple because this could literally just be you really, you know. What's the word I'm looking for? Because for me, this is like a complete embodiment of your empress and emperor energy we're all embodiments of you know our masculine and feminine energy 
and I feel like whoever this person is, okay, so I do have one person that wants to come in here and make, and propose, make some type of proposition and offer here. I don't think collective that you're paying attention to it. I think your back is turned to, your back is turned to the past, but your back is also turned to this offer. And I feel like you're pretty damn confident that you're making the right decision. And when I tell you, somebody is incredibly upset. Somebody is incredibly upset. And I say they're trying to hold on. Somebody is there they're trying to hold on. And I think they're trying to hold on to you. I said, I think I said this in, in the reading yesterday. Somebody here is trying to hold on to someone for stability. It really is just about money. I also feel like whoever this is that's watching you, they're literally seeing things happen like they're watching your blessings pour in they're watching your blessings pour in and that's why they're desperate they're desperate here's the wild part though because this is how silly they are I've been talking about this for a while now where there's a theme here of collective not you're not getting your abundant abundance that is due to you right you're gonna see signs and evidence of it you will see signs and evidence of it along the way right as, it, as this energy builds momentum but you're not gonna be given or gifted blessed whatever with the full throttle of the blessing there's there's two things here. You're not going to be blessed with this full throttle blessing until those people have been eliminated. Take out how it resonates. Eliminated from your life. Like, And the reason why is because spirit already knows your heart. Right? And because you're such a loving and kind and giving person, you might be inclined to share these blessings with the very people who were trying to keep them from you. Okay, I hope that lands. And so literally, the sun is in the center of the reading. And while it is in the reverse, the sun in any direction is still a positive card. In the reverse, it is a delay. Okay, so don't worry. Again, Mercury in retrograde in Taurus, things is going to slow. They're slowing down. They're slowed down. But it's for it's serving a larger purpose okay in the meantime I also feel like this person is super pissed off too because whatever you're working on they don't know about it or they don't know what it is because they can't see it you're not talking about it they know something's coming but they don't know what it is so they really have no point of reference it's kind of like people can't sabotage what they don't know about right so that you may hint that there's some shit going on, but because you haven't like put it all out there, nobody really knows what's going on. So they don't really know how to attack it, which is fine. You got a new beginning. You have set some, you set some free. And the thing is, whatever this relationship is, you don't have no love for it anyway. It's unrequited love. Somebody is, you're not you're not hurting anymore and the the wheel the wheel has turned you've moved on following your north node mhm mm you're letting all this stuff go and i do have somebody that wants to come back but i think because you might be really really guarded they may have a little difficulty penetrating that. Yeah. 
yeah, whatever this, whatever their offer they're coming, I said it's insincere, so they're not going to accomplish whatever it is that they're coming in to do because you've already moved on from it. And I'm telling you, it's insincere. I think you're, you'll listen to your intuition, okay? Because you're going to know what's for you and what's not. All I'm seeing is this person that I'm just keep hearing smoke and mirrors. This person wants to come in here with smoke and mirrors. Mm -hmm. And you're no longer afraid. If you were ever afraid to like manifest your best damn life, you're not afraid of that anymore. And you're not afraid of this person. Yep, and this and the person here's the thing. Whoever you're dealing with, they lack I don't want to just call them outright stupid, but this person just they lack they lack the wisdom and wherewithal. And that's part of the reason why they're not taking responsibility for what they're for what they've done or what they're doing. And collective, you're just over here healing. I love it. Resolidifying the bond with yourself. Um, there's definitely no more. You have, that's crazy. So if you are kind of waiting for something to come to an end or you're or waiting for something to just kind of extinguish itself, that's happening. Or it has happened. Yep. And because you're sitting here in your power and you're minding your business and you're, you know, you're being silent about your moves, somebody here is completely beside themselves emotionally. Somebody here isn't speaking their truth. Somebody is somebody here isn't speaking some truth. Or they're trying to keep something hidden. Okay, so there could have been oh. See now these cards. I love it when these cards come, telling the same story here. So I want to say within the last year, maybe within the last year there might have been a message that you didn't receive or that may have been intercepted that would have allowed you to release a toxic relationship and put it into a toxic relationship. There was some type of secret, so something that would have been illuminated. It's been hidden. Something's been hidden about someone here who is highly intuitive, gifted maybe. There may have been a gift. The gift doesn't have to be monetary. It could be a gift or a gift, an ancestral lineage gift. So this could have been a spiritual gift because the spiritual gift could have something to do with your intuition. Somebody didn't want you to see that or they were trying to block your intuition. Somebody may have been trying to block your vision, especially if it has something to do with your work. Or somebody may have been trying to block your vision or block the fact that they've been doing work to keep someone sleep. Somebody may have been trying to do work to unalive you. Somebody here may have been trying to block your vision or block your intuition about the work that they were doing to put you to sleep, to put you down is what I'm hearing. But they've been released. And their luck has run out and their life has become complicated. Because now you have grounded yourself and your intuition has kicked in. And somebody here refuses to grow. But there's some money here that somebody may have been trying to keep hidden from you. And you just continue to move forward. There's some lies coming out. And somebody is trying to resist this energy being surfaced. Time is running out. They are no longer protected and the cycle has come to an end. Wow, I read all these cards. So 
somebody here could be dealing with a fire sign and doesn't want to transform and it's been done rep repetitively so this is a cycle so I feel like spirit's been trying to nudge somebody to heal and just they refuse someone may have to travel or somebody may be traveling there could be a home that somebody okay somebody may be moving away from a home or somebody's home life may become I don't know um, slow down somebody may have to leave a home travel away from a home and interesting the last four cards out we have a shapeshifter here that thought and here's somebody who doesn't self-reflect and who is completely out of balance um, this person was a shapeshifter and they thought they could get away with this like this is somebody who adapts to their environment so they don't come as their authentic self they show up as whoever else is around like you know this is the energy everybody's in so this is the energy I'm gonna jump into right they thought they could get away with that and they can't now they can't now okay all right let's uh, let's use some index cards interesting reading false mentor gives bad advice on purpose damn the month of january could be significant could be dealing with a capricorn or aquarius somebody had manipulation tactics in play someone is afraid to lose you someone has been left behind somebody is working against you somebody here is a baby mama or there's a baby mama involved there's a ringleader here. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody says, I have more tricks up my sleeve, or at least that's what they think. There's candle magic out here. You are the alchemist. Don't forget that. Crap, cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Yeah, somebody's upset. Barrel. You feel something lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Yeah, because somebody down here. I just heard um, Bill Withers, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. So somebody is catching the blues right now. We have crown, honor, and respect will come to you. May have something to do with your career. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. We have four leaf clover, great good fortune. Horse, a short journey. So that's twice we have a short journey. So again, you might have somebody coming towards you or traveling towards you, or you may be traveling soon. Then we have tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Remember, delayed, not denied. Okay, so don't worry about the timing. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross and star guaranteed success somebody is really upset about you getting public attention or getting public accolades crib birth or conception of a child or enterprise we talked about this entrepreneurial spirit down here um let's grab a couple of these on town texts we'll wrap it lessons being learned karmic ties and situations Forgiveness is for you, not them. Healing is necessary. Stop worrying. Your material needs will be met. Be grateful. Then we have free yourself. It's not your burden. Take a step back. You're too invested. And energy blockages. Your chakras are misaligned. So somebody's chakras are misaligned. Could be this person who's like all out of balance and pissed off and upset neither here nor there not your problem all right guys i'm gonna leave it there if any parts of this resonated for you or gave you clarity on your own situation please give the video a thumbs up so that we can circulate it to those in need of the message the most um as always uh, my books are always open all my information is below in the description box and you are welcome 
to join me for a session. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Yay for reaching 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. Until next time, take care.